Hello everyone and welcome to a final cup run here on FIFA 16 Ultimate Team. Now as you can see, this is a squad that I built yesterday and today, as I promised, I will do a final cup run in the championship and of course it's live and of course, well not of course, it's with webcam. Now, I had voting in the squad builder but unfortunately Last game I played with him, he got a red card, so I got a slot in Benatia, which I already had in my club, and it fits perfectly with the chemistry. So, let's just jump straight into an online tournament. Oh, wait! Open season! Hey, we're not. I'm not going to be playing the Champion Shield. I'll try to win the open season tournament. So, it's a final cup run. Here we go, let's try and find a match. So here we go, let's see what kind of team this guy is. He's got pretty much a starter team, it's full of bronzes, full of gold players and uh, I should probably win this team. Not all of his players are on full chemistry either. Uh, so I think, well looking at the team setup, I probably should win this game. But you never know what is going to happen and uh, these games are not going to be like they're going to be cut so they're not going to be full games because or else, because else it, it would take a rather long time to get through these uh, videos oh man oh Marco Royce second minute one nil that is what he's he does his finishing is just incredible his burst of pace and his dribbling is what makes him so unbelievably good but wow I did not expect a start like that even though we have a better team Never, you never know what is going to happen in the game, and uh, let's just see, let's just see if we can score another one. Of if this guy's going to score, score another one. Oh, wonderful skill from Di Maria down the wing. See, oh, the burst of pace, the burst of pace, the burst of pace, top net, the best net. Oh my goodness! Seven minutes in and the dribbling from Di Maria, the tight dribbling and the top oh, near post. It's just so OP. That is the finish that I probably do the most with Di Maria. Uh, to hit that near post top net. It, it makes him... Yeah, the, that is just a little bit too good almost. But 2-0. Nine minutes in. It Could it be even better? Fender Sar with the save. We're off to a rocking start here. Paul Pogba with the long shot and the rebound goal from Slata. Not the prettiest goal. But he's done that a couple of times now. Just thrown it out to me and I've uh, been able to pick it up with my player. Paul Pogba with the shot with uh, which uh, goalkeeper saves. But Slatan is there to pick up the rebound. And we're 3 nil up. 35 minutes in. And I think this guy may have had enough. It seems like he's put down his controller, which is, uh, we just have to... Oh, yeah, oh no, he's, he just sent me a message. Well, we'll I'll look at that after he, after the game and see, uh, and see what he has to say about it. Effenberg with the strike! Oh my goodness, Stefan Effenberg with the goal! I tried to find uh, Pogba there with the corner, but he headed it away just in the pathway to Stefan Effenberg. And the goalkeeper has no chance. It was almost like Jordan Henderson's goal the other day against Chelsea. Oh my. 4 0 up. And the first half isn't even done yet. We're up to a flying start. I know the, I know the opponent's team isn't the greatest, but uh, still, scoring, scoring more than four goals is always, uh, it's always nice, you know. That is a fantastic strike and he is out of here. I can definitely understand why he's out of here. What a strike from Paul Pogba. I know no, his goalkeeper is not on full chemistry but sometimes even a goalkeeper, a gold goalkeeper and on full chemistry is not going to be able to save that shot. That is what I like to see. Let's see the ratings of, uh, of all our players and see, uh, see how they did in game. Uh, 
There was uh, just no problem having Benassia at the back there instead of uh, Boateng, but I'll slot him in in the very next game, don't you guys worry. So here we have them, uh, 8.54 Effenberg, which was man of the match, look at that, oh my, oh my, all my players, or there were different goal scorers for all these goals, Di Maria with 2 assists, Pogba with 1, that is just a fantastic start to this cup run. And uh, yeah, look at us, that's 10 shots, 10 on target, and he only had 4 shots. So it, 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 it just, he didn't stand a chance. So let's actually check out that uh, that uh, message that he sent to us after, was it the third goal, that sloppy goal with Zlatan? Uh, he said, you're sick. Well, you have to be mad. So, or, no, I, I, think, he, I think that may actually be a compliment. <laughs> You're sick. Uh, I'll, I'll send him a... Uh, thank, thank you message. Yes, indeed. And... Uh, let's just go ahead. And jump right into the quarterfinals of this cup. But first, let's just check out the fitness. Okay, it's all good. And let's bring back Boateng in. And also, look at the substitute fans. I just have a lot of substitutes uh, to bring in if needs be. I've got... Pink Aubameyang, which is absolutely ridiculous. We got the uh, Lone Ryan Giggs. We got the uh, Pink Konoplyanka. We got the Boar. We got uh, the tournament winner Castro, Hoot, and Sane. And also, I forgot to mention, to get this voice, you had to win a certain cup. You had 10 attempts, and third win, you won Marco Royce. First win was the first attempt, no, third attempt. I did, I got Konoplyanka, 4th attempt, I got Aubameyang, and 5th attempt, I won in a penalty shootout for Marco Royce. I was so happy that I managed to get him, because, as I said, honestly, he's my, he's one of my top 3 players in this entire game, and my top left forward in this entire game. He's just incredible. Just incredible. But anyway, let's see if we can find a match in the quarterfinals. Here we go, that was actually rather quick, and he's got a full goal team, almost a full Brazilian team. Except he's got the Handanovic in goal, which is a fantastic goalkeeper. But he's got Sandro, uh, Alexandro out of position. So, I don't know, I mean, there's some really good players in his team. So I should watch out for them, of course, but uh, let's just see, let's just see how things go, and... Uh, Oh, it's Stefan Effenberg with the dribbling, getting it to David Alaba, Effenberg, oh, oh, almost through, oh, why did it pause it? So already paused it once in the seventh minute, and... Okay then, why would you race quit when it's nil-nil? I know I've done the best in the game, but why would you race quit at that point? Well, that is just silly. Let's just let's just see if we can find another game. So here we go, second attempt at the quarterfinals. He's got a full MLS side. Props to this guy. I I haven't come up against uh, many many MLS sides. He's got, of course, got Steven Gerrard, one of my favorite players of all time to watch. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. He also has David v David Villa as his center forward, uh, which uh, I love using his card. Back in FIFA 12 when he had a left wing card, we had 5 star weak for 4 star skill, it was like 85 pace and close to 90 shooting. That was a ridiculous card, but just to see if we can get get a good start to this game as we had uh, the uh, uh, as uh, the first uh, round of the tournament. Oh, the pass off to Marco Royce. The spin in, oh no, the dribbling inside, oh the spin inside, near po, oh no, that's a pair of ref. Referee, that should be a penalty, man. Oh, here we go, we're, get, we're getting a move going here, let's get it to Effenberg, there we go. Out to the wing, back to, oh. Oh, back to, back to Effenberg, Marco Royce, there we go, fakes are inside. There we go, 1-0 up. There we go. Marco Royce with the finesse shot finish. That is what I like to see. That was a nice work work there uh, down the way from Pogba and Effenberg. Then it just gave Royce way too much space. And he, he's he got too good of a finishing to uh, leave him that much space. We're 1-0 up. Uh, and uh, we're looking good uh, thus far. 
Oh no, I just give him the ball away in the midfield. Come on, Van der Sar. Oh no, that was silly. I've done that a couple of times in this game already, and uh, yeah, I should probably just boot it up the field. I, d I mean, just look at that. Just gave it away with Jerome Boateng, and that's a nice and easy finish from uh, his uh, Barrios. I think that may have been his uh, right uh, right winger. Oh well, back to square one. Oh, it's a, I just hit the bar! Oh my! The very next attack, I just hit the bar with Marco Royce! Oh, let's get the ball to Angel Di Maria! Play through from Effenberg. He almost did the exact same as he gave me. He just gave the ball away in the midfield and a pounce like a tiger! Royce to Effenberg to the free Di Maria. Just slashed that one away. 2 1, back in the lead. Oh no, he's through with this! Oh man! I don't even, I think that was David Villa, but fantastic save there from Van der Sar. Oh, I see a lot, I see a lot of space here. Angel Di Maria on the wing. He's almost through on goal. Let's get it to Effenberg. That should be 3-1. It is 3-1 now this time. Di Maria passes up to Stefan Effenberg, who just lost that one away. Nice and easily. Look at this. Yeah, it was free in the middle. And he's just lost that one away. That's just, that's the kind of space I like my central center midfielder to to take. So three one up, and we're almost at halftime. Can we get another another goal? Can we get another goal? Oh, can we get another one? Just gifted that one away to me. I'm four one. Why do you keep giving the ball away? That is almost all the goals that I've scored. Just winning it back either in the midfield. Or close to the penalty area, and uh, this was just I. That was just bad. It should have just tried and cleared that one away with either B or X. And uh, I think this guy is out of here too. Yeah, he's out of here too. I had a cup run, a couple, of, a Champions Shield cup run, uh, a few weeks ago where I had I think the first, second, no, second, third, and the let's see, quarterfinal, semifinal, and the final. Where everyone rage quitted on me. Marco Royce, two goals, one for Di Maria, one for Effenberg, two assists from Effenberg, and then one from Angel Di Maria. Two rage, well, technically, actually, three rage quits out of three. And we're now into the semi finals of the Open Season Cup. Let's see what kind of team we can come up against. So here we go, the semi final against a foot. Founder, so this means this guy's been playing Ultimate Team for quite a while. He's got a full Spanish team. He's got Juan Mata, interestingly, as a right winger. I know it's a right mid in game, but I don't see very many people using it, using him. And uh, he's also got the uh, team of the season uh, Ben Yat as uh, one of his center mids. So uh, I decided to buy a squad fitness uh, item. So now my entire team has got full fitness. So we're ready to roll. Let's go! Oh. oh my, what? Oh my god, what just happened? Juan Mata scores in the second minute. What just happened? I... It was a cross from Pedro. Alaba should have won that. No, that was actually Effenberg. And uh, I think one of his players actually... Made it so Fandes, Van der Sar didn't see the ball. Oh, that is just a terrible, terrible start. Let's see. Can make a swift, swift reply. Ah, oh, he saves it. De Gea saves it. Oh my, I think we're in for a tough one. Slotten to Effenberg. To Pogba. There we go! Nice little bit of play there from Effenberg and Paul Pogba Com combination outside of Pentair. Slot onto Effenberg to the free Paul Pogba, who slots that one away against his new teammate, David Gea. 1 1. It's game on. To slot on Vidal. CD Marie on the run. Get to Royce. Oh! 
Oh, sweaty across! Slatan Ibrahimovic, extremely sweaty, but I wanted a goal and I got a goal! I don't know how Marco Royce won that battle inside the box here, but he did and he slotted it away to Slatan Ibrahimovic, which is getting very close to 400 goals for my club to one up. We're looking good. Oh no, just giving the ball away. Oh, that's just a stupid mistake. What is up with all these mistakes? And now it's Pedro to slot it away. Should have just cleared that one away. I just couldn't get a ball away. And we're back to two. We're back to even level now. I was about to say we're back to two two now, but uh, that is uh, almost impossible to be. Oh, Effenberg. Effenberg. Slotan. 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 That is what I like to see. My passing has been extremely suspect in this game, but Effenberg bombing up the field, getting to slot and finding that little bit of space which is needed for him to slot it away. 3 2, back in the lead. Let's see if we can keep it now. And that is half time. I almost gave away a goal at the end there, but very even game. Uh, but there's been some sloppy goals that I've conceded, and. Uh, Hopefully I should get rid of that uh, suspect passing now in the second half and hold it a little bit more tight uh, defensively. So, that's, this is actually the first time I'm playing the second half in this uh, in this cup run to be honest. Oh, anyway, let's see, let's keep it away. There we go, good job on the SAR. Oh, Slatan, let's get it for Jim, there we go. Get a little bit of dribbling in. Oh, in the middle to Angel Di Maria. There we go. Nice little bit of play there from, from Slatan. The scoop turn there. Turns around two defenders. Finds an open Di Maria. A little bit lucky with the finish. But there we go. 4-2. Two. two goals up now. And it looks a little bit better than uh, with just one goal up. Oh, Diego Costa is trying to run for on goal. He's on the front goal. And oh my, oh my, oh my. What, what, what even was that? What even was that? He just managed to body off Paul Pogba and Boateng there. And then kind of finished with that. And what was Van der Sar doing? Oh my, we're back to, we're back to a one goal game now. And it's a seven goal thriller. Alright, so we're into the final minutes of the game now. Let's see if we can hold on and not keep giving the ball away. There we go, Marco Royce. What? I said keep giving the ball away. Release the crack it in the almost half corner. We'd have gone in if uh, not for uh, De Gea there. But see, that was a really bad corner. Come on, ref. Below the whistle. It's. Oh, thank God, uh, Alaba won that tether. I may have been in a little bit of a pickle. Get to Effenberg. Getting a lot of space with Effenberg. Oh, almost lost that one away, but come on. Oh, it was a block. Get to Effenberg, actually. And hit it on the volley. Oh, with the homeless with header. Oh my god. Uh, that was a. I tried to uh, change play there with uh, LB, and that's why he did a chip shot, but. Fortunately for me, that didn't even matter. 9.8 for Slatan Ibrahimovic. Two goals, one assist. And then one goal from Di Maria, one from Pogba. One assist from Ibra, one from Royce, and two from Effenberg. And you know, you know what this means. Look at those stats. Van der Sar only did two saves. That was a little bit of a disappointing game from him. But whatever, doesn't even matter. Vroom vroom. We're into the final of open season! It's duck season! Rabbit season! Duck season! Rabbit season! Rabbit season! Duck se season! Shoot him! That's one of my favorite scenes uh, from uh, Looney Tunes. I don't know if I recreated it uh, properly, but... Uh, anyway, let's jump into the final of open season. And I'm ready to play Bioshock 2. Oh yeah! Here we go, we're into the final now, and he's got a very interesting team. He's got El Sharave and Falcao with Edison Cavani, so right winger. He's got Bernardo Silva, he's got Nani, he's got Bruma, 
very attacking team. And he's got Jordi Alba as a right back. Very interesting team, but he's managed to get to the final. So I'm expecting him to be quite good. Or not, not quite good, but pretty good. So, as you see, my final game of FIFA 16. Hopefully, it can result in a win. Marco Royce with the ball roll. Spin inside. Almost there. Get it to Effenberg. Paul Pogba. Release to Kraken. Almost 1-0 up, but not quite. Not quite. Off to a good start, though. Off to a good start. Right, here we go. Can we find a little bit of space for Paul Pogba? Oh, it's a post! We're off to a... I mean, we're dominating this game thus far. I'm winning the ball back in the midfield very easily. Oh, Effenberg. Paul Pogba. Out to Slatan. Back to Pogba. He's got a lot of space. And it's 1-0. Paul Pogba, 25 minutes in. There we go, we finally managed to capitalize on the pressure. Very nice job here. And then the finish! That is the kind of Paul Pogba that I'd like to see. The kind of Paul Pogba that I had in my last squad builder that I did. I managed to get in that position and score oh so many goals. Two or... Why was I about to say two one up? We only managed to score one goal thus far. And... Uh, and uh, can we uh, win the ball back? Indeed we can! Stefan Eberberg 2-0, 28 minutes in! Capitalizing on the mistakes from Gravi and Mascherano. I don't know what he was doing there. I don't know what he was doing there, but I don't even care. 2-0, 28 minutes in. That is what you call, as Spencer likes to say, a mis misery compiler. Marco Royce on the ball. Marco Royce! 3-0, 35 minutes in. This is just a whitewash. Look at that strike. Just look at that curve from Royce. Outside and then it hits it perfectly in the top corner. This is just... This is just, I don't know. And also Slatan is on 399 goals for the, for the club. If I can get one more, it's over 400, and that is that is uh, that is my aim now, because three 0 up. This guy has not created a whole lot, so I want to I want to score a goal with Slatan before uh, the game is over. So that is my mission, and it's definitely not impossible. And that is ha half half. Half time right there, and as you can see, we completely dominated. He hasn't even had a shot. And we've had them um, almost everyone inside the box and just outside the box. We've just been dominating. So let's see if we can uh, seal this game out or see this game out. And hopefully, not uh, like uh, let this game uh, slip away. And my phone is ringing. Why do we have to ring? Why do you have to ring? Why do you have to ring? Here we go, Slatan on the ball! Slatan on the ball! Slatan on the ball! 400th goal for the club and it's 4-0 in the 17th minute! Now I think it's definitely game over. I've done everything that I wanted to do with this squad now. Got a 400 goal for Slatan and... Uh, I'm probably going to be winning this cup if uh, my internet doesn't just uh, decide to poop, poop on itself. Slot on the ball. Slot on with the strike. Oh, oh my god, god, an insane oh. goal! I've just seen the most insane oh. goal oh. I have oh. ever seen on a football pitch. Incredible! Oh. Incredible oh. Slot on Ibrahimovic! Oh. Game. That is, sometimes he just gets outshined by Marco Royce in this particular team. But then, he just sometimes steps up, outside of the boot, 5-0. This tournament has just been absolutely crazy. The only goals that I'm considered thus far is in the semi-finals, and I conceded three then. The other ones, uh, Rage Quit first round, Rage Quit second round. And then, uh, of course, a very even game in the semi-finals. But right now, it's just... Not oh looking very good for this guy. Oh we're just we're just bombarding him with shots. 
just bombarding well wow. everything is going in 6 nil Di Maria everything is just going in it's just been one of those days where everything have just worked out the way I wanted well maybe except for some of the goals in the semi-final but except for that everything has just worked out the way I have wanted, I've scored my goals in Slatan. I'm probably going to be winning this tournament, uh, which also lends me a pack. So I will be opening a pack, uh, a final pack in FIFA 16 before uh, uh, before I stop playing it. Uh, wouldn't it be funny if I packed something like uh, Ronaldo or like a Messi or even a legend? That would, and I wouldn't really get to use him a whole lot oh well oh well I guess I that would definitely be a thing I Let's do it. no oh there we go no uh, I want to do a rainbow flick there fortunately things just didn't work out like that scoop turn left foot even his left foot is godly he's got four star weak foot but it doesn't even matter even his left foot is absolutely fantastic just a perfect play there, and <laughs> the weak foot finish top corner. My God, Marco Royce, what planet are you from? You're not from this planet. Oh my, that was a hell of a cup run. Not uh, really the most difficult cup run that I've ever done, but uh, doing it live, it's always a little bit more difficult. And. Uh, there we go, let's just see our players celebrating, there we go. I don't know who really was the man of the match of this tournament. Everyone pretty much performed. There was a few mistakes in the semi-finals, but overall... It, this team plays fantastic, I mean... Just look at... Well, we can't even really see the scorelines that I have, but there we go. Winners of the open season. We got a premium gold players pack, 9.9 .9 for Effenberg, look at that. At four players over 9.5, two goals from Slatan, two from Royce, one from Stefan Effenberg, and one from Pogba, two assists from Effenberg, two from Pogba, and one from Ibrahimovic. This just couldn't have worked out better, I must admit. Look at the domination here. Let's see, shots on target. He had all of his three shots on target uh, in around the area, but uh, it, it, it just. There was, there, there was just, there, there was just absolute annihilation. So, let's go to the store, open our premium gold players pack, and see if we get anything uh, to write home about. And uh, we get Shinji Kagawa. And I think all of these are, un yeah, all of these are untradeable players. Oh, we do get a uh, Swedish player, Jimmy Durmas, though. So, that is pretty much it. I I accomplished what I wanted to do, and uh, as you can see from my record, this is by far the best record that I've had in any FIFA. No no question about it. Uh, so, let's actually, let's actually check out my club and see what players I have in it. And some lone players here with Giggs, De Boer, Royce, Rondon, Martial, and Balassi. But of course, we have Edwin van der Sar. He did a few, he made a few mistakes in the semi-finals. But other than that, solid goalkeeper. Really like him a lot. We got Stefan Effenberg. He's also, he's also really, really good. Let's actually see how many of him are on the market. It's a few of them. As you can see. It's 143, I paid 243,000 coins for this guy, but I don't even care, it's fantastic. Of course, we have Mykon, almost got to 100 games with him. Slatan Ibrahimovic, I know I don't have a goal a game with him, but I got 152 assists with this guy and 401 goals. That's 500, 553 points in 428 games, that's more than good enough for me. We got Giorgio Chiellini, we got Boateng, my favorite center back on the entire game. We got Paul Pogba, which is fantastic. He, he doubled his scoreline uh, uh, this cup round. Three goals and three assists from this man in uh, four games. We got Arturo Vidal, which I like a lot. We got Angel Di Maria. 
this is King, we got Alaba, we got Pastore, which I've had for a long, long time in my club. 190 games, 69 goals and 52 assists from center mid. I like him a lot. I liked him a little bit more in FIFA 15 when he had his team of the season card. But for a cheap center mid, and he's going to be a 85 rated in FIFA 17, which with uh, almost similar stats. So I'm expecting him to be really good in uh, FIFA 17 too. We got Kritchoviak, which I packed uh, back in uh, almost the beginning of the FIFA. And I've, I've used him a lot. He's quite a good CDM. We got Tremolinas, which I've also used a lot in like budget teams or La Liga teams when I've tried using him. And I've also uh, kept every single Swedish player that I've packed from either bronze packs or gold packs and whatnot. There's a few of them. We got Marco Royce, of course. He finished off. With 76 goals and 27 assists in 77 games. Oh, I love that. We got a Bamiyang, 29 goals and 10 assists in 25 games. That is fantastic. 99 pace and 90 shooting. He was ridiculous to use. We got Sergio Bus Busquets. Didn't use him a whole lot. We got Perishek. All of these players are untradeable, by the way. And we got the Pink Konplayenka. He was really good at things the first... 10 or 15 games that I play with him. Then he fell off a little bit. Still, still very good. I, I like him. We got Benatia, we got Koscielny, we got the uh, uh, tournament winner Robert Huth, or Robert Hoot, uh, which I didn't use a whole lot. Castro, I did use uh, for a little bit. I had a team which I used him in, and he was pretty nice. 45 games, 43 goals, and 17 assists. Pretty good. We got the Rossi, we got Leroy Sane, another tournament winner. Uh, 10 games, 6 goals, 6 assists, not too bad. And now there's just players, which I haven't used a whole a whole lot of, uh, I don't think. Yeah, may some of these players I used, uh, like a game here and a game there, but uh, nothing, no one that I've really used uh, extensively, so... Uh, I think, I think that is going to be pretty much it, and uh, I also managed to win uh, Division 1, which you might have seen uh, from the kit that I've been, that I've been using, uh, the Division 1 winning kit, which I haven't done since FIFA 13, I think, when uh, Divisions was uh, introduced. And also won uh, a cup run in, uh, let's see, let's go to Untradeables, shall we? Uh, I won this kit. That was an offline tournament. This is the Division 1 winning kit, and this was a kit uh, for an online tournament. Quite, can't quite remember what that was, but I did win it, which I'm pretty happy about. So this is definitely the uh, FIFA that I've been the best at. And I'm happy to, to finish it off with a tournament win in the open season. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. My final games in FIFA 16 Ultimate Team. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I will do. I will probably do some FIFA 17 video in the coming future, but uh, don't know how many it will be and don't know when they're going to be coming. But anyway, I have fun with this final video. Hopefully you had too. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you guys next time. Good bye.